Hey Team Squad, welcome back to the episode of End and Warfare. So today's episode, we got this cool mid mark here. And basically what these are, are some Korean style face masks. And we see the one that we got right here from this band right here. And this one basically comes in a pack of 12 of them. And they actually have a lot of different sets available in terms of what is actually included. Some of them have more of the ginseng, some of them have less. So you definitely want to do your own research to see which ones prefer. But first thing I'm actually open up to show you guys everything that's included in this set right here first. Before you test it out. Alright, so once you guys take it out, you can definitely see there's a lot of face masks on here. And basically for each one of these sheets right here, they provide you guys information of what is actually included right here. So this one right here basically has ginseng. And then right underneath that, you can see the provide you guys information in terms of what is actually beneficial for this part right here. So this is the first one right here. Next one that we got right here is acai berry. Next one right here, we do have the seaweed. Next one that we got right here is aloe vera. Next one that we got right here is charcoal. Next one that we got right here is pomegranate. Next one that we have right here is a tea tree. The next one that we got right here is vitamin C. The next one right here is avocado. The next one that we got right here is cucumber. Next one that we got right here is collagen. And the last and final one that we got right here is honey. And if you guys are curious about how to actually use it, they do provide you guys information in the back right here. So step one, step two, and step three. So basically the first step you guys want to do is clean and dry your face and apply the mask onto your skin. And usually what I suggest people do is actually cleanse your face after you guys wash it. And obviously for people who have like hair or beard on their face, it probably won't stick on as well if you guys do have hair on the side. So you probably want to shave before you guys use it. But for this test, I am going to test it out to show you guys what it actually looks like and how well it works if you guys do use it with a beard on. So that is basically everything that's in this set right here. Now I'm just going to set this up and test it out to show you guys how to use it and what it actually looks like first. And we'll come back and talk more product in a second. Alright, so right here I have all the face masks. I'm only gonna pick one of them to actually use it. But before I actually use it, I do want to cleanse my face first. So I actually cleanse my face first to show you guys how to use it. So the cleanser that I'll be using is from this band right here, Course Direct. So first thing I want to do is actually rinse my face before I actually use the cleanser. Alright, let's get a little bit of cleanser. Apply this onto my face. Alright, let's rinse it. And basically you wipe down your face, make sure it's all clean. So once you guys finish cleansing your face, you can definitely start using it. So I think I'll try out the side bear right here. So what I'm going to do is open it up first. And basically you want to take out the face sheet or the mask sheet. Alright, so when you guys take it out, this direction is right here. So you basically want to open it up. And then once you guys open it up, you basically want to apply it onto your face. Alright, so once you guys open up, this rash looks right here. Let me actually apply this onto my face to show you guys what she looks like. Alright, so basically I'm just go like this. Make sure you apply it correctly all over your face. If you guys do have like a beard on your face, it might not stick on too well. But see what I just stick on the top part right here, it actually sticks on perfectly. So you just want to just move it out until it sticks on. Alright, so once you guys apply it on, this rash looks right here. If you see the bottom part right here, it doesn't really stick on because of my beard. So if you guys want to use it correctly, you do want to shave before I use it. But I'm going to leave this on for 15 to 20 minutes and then come back and check on it. Alright, so it's been around like 20 minutes. If you can see the bottom part right here is all flying out because of the beard that's on here. If you can see the top part right here actually sticks on really well. And it's basically all done for the top part. But if you see the bottom part right here, there's still a lot of liquid. So definitely use your hand and just push it against your face. So that way actually applies it onto your skin. But definitely when you guys see the product on here, it definitely does work. So basically what I'm going to do now is take it off. So just like this. And it's all set. If you guys don't want to waste the remainder of the liquid on here, you can definitely apply it onto your face if you guys want to like this. To any of the parts that you guys can reach with the face mask. And definitely once you guys apply it on, you can definitely smell like the acai berry on here. And that is basically everything that's on the here in terms of how to use it. And right, welcome back guys. So when I saw for test upon, definitely see how she does work and she works quite well. So obviously like I mentioned earlier, if you guys have hair or beard on your face, it might not work as well because it won't really stick on. So you probably want to shave before you guys use it. But if you guys don't want to shave, you can definitely still use as well. But it just won't stick too well when you guys do have hair on the side. And basically the best time for you guys to use the product is when you guys are about to go to sleep. So that way your face can feel moisturized and clean before you guys go to sleep. But that is basically everything that's on the right here. Now to come boxing and test the butter, not the end question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for the power here, I would definitely have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want one or need one of these. Especially if you guys care about your skin, then we definitely have to say that it is pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have to need one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys. So you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive. 
be you and i'll see you guys in the next episode of is it worth it peace